Hey, so today I want to show you my voice over processing chain. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe. I typically use this in Discord uh, for doing OBS videos like right now or just recording voice over for YouTube videos or other stuff like that. So um, I use the SM7B with a low cut applied because uh, I normally speak quite uh, not far away from it, but directly into it. So I get a lot of a lot of bass response Okay, so to start that I'll go to Reaper and the first thing I want to do is uh, apply a Equalizer mine My equalizer right here is from FabFilter. It's it is a great equalizer. I like it a lot and um, Yeah, what do we do with it? The first thing I want to do is apply a low cut and increase the 12 decibel octave to 36. So it's more of a steep curve down there. So next thing I want to do is uh, speak normally into it and monitor the low frequency I cut out. So if I uh, go, if I do that right here, uh, you'll only hear what I cut out. So if I do that, right. That's the uh, that's the stuff I cut out with it. Uh, okay, what I want to do now is um, just speak and find the lowest note I normally speak, but not the plops like p -p -p. as you can see, they are down here. I want to reduce them or get complete rid of it. And yeah, I'll do that right now. I'll monitor it and speak. Yeah, so uh, 99 hertz, uh, there's about 99 hertz, that's the lowest point of my voice, the lowest note, and yeah, that's the low cut. Next thing I want to do is find the rumble frequency or the, the muddy frequency, the, just the type of stuff you have in your voice that prevents others from understanding you clearly. Think about it, if you uh, wear a mask... Or something like that. Like this. This is this is about the frequency you want to find. So um, I increase it right here. I, as you can hear, yeah, this this right here, this thing right here is what I'm talking about. I want to reduce that by about three point five two three decibels just to make my voice a little bit clearer. Next thing I want to do is um, find another frequency I don't like. Typically around this spectrum, 2000, it's just the thing you have to find for yourself. I don't like that. So I'll turn that one down right here. Okay, so now we have two cuts. Uh, the SM7B is a dark and, yeah, just a dark microphone. So what I want to do next is increase the high end of the microphone to make it mo sound more rich and stuff like that. I don't uh, boost the low end because um, low end or the lower parts of your voice have uh, si uh, have sound waves, like, you know, the stuff you see, uh, wa waveforms, like, stuff like that. And um, right here in this lower register, when I speak at one note and go into another note, the uh, the change is quite large, whereas uh, right here it's not that large against uh, yeah these parts right here. So what uh, happens if you boost the low end is uh, you will uh, you will increase bass volume, but you'll increase it only for certain notes. So it can happen that um, other notes you speak like when you get a little bit little bit um, down it won't be as loud in the bass as when you go a little bit higher so uh, I don't do that I don't like it either so that's my EQ setting next thing I want to do is go to Fab Filter Saturn this is also for such a great plugin such a great plugin um Normally, it's used for distortion, like this one right here. Oh, you, you've heard that one, right? <laughs> you heard it from other YouTubers, uh, but that's digital clipping. That's another thing. This is 
tape saturation, which is also kind of clipping, but it's harmonically correct clipping or something like that. I don't really know. Um, but the only thing I do with that plugin is turn down the dynamics and increase the uh, increase my transient, so the loudest part of my voice, and reduce the sustain. I have a special video um, talking about that, so go to my YouTube channel or I'll link it down right here or so. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> but um, what does what does does is reduce room echo and make my voice drier. Like really dry. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is go to FabFilter Pro C2. Yeah, I know. It's just FabFilter plugins. I know, I know. But they're great. They're really great. So let me readjust this window right here. So you can see and I don't have to t uh, make another take like I did. <laughs> So uh, what I want to do is uh, go to the uh, vocal style right here, which adds a little bit more clarity and a little bit more compression. And I'll want to decrease the attack to about 0.20 microseconds and not, not more because, um, again, lower notes in your voice have a longer wave and sometimes this waveform is longer than 20 milli, uh, than 20 microseconds, uh, longer than 0.10 microseconds, which is the lowest. So what will happen is your voice will distort. So it's better to go for a little bit, uh, not the fastest, but pretty much, um, but not the fastest to uh, decrease distortion. So it will not cause any distortion. Next thing I want to do is go uh, turn on the release to about. 10 milliseconds, maybe. Just depends on how fast you speak. But I found 10 milliseconds is quite good for me. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah, 20, 20, 20 works too. I adjust it while I hear it, so that's the reason why. Okay, next thing I want to do. As you can see, I have right now about 6 decibels of gain reduction, which is a healthy amount to equal out um, my voice. But uh, what I want to do is go to sidechain. And um, I know you <laughs> you heard my voice throughout this whole video. And maybe you heard that I have uh, a lot of sibilance in my voice. This is sibilance, just this part. And I find it really annoying, but it's just the way my mouth works. Um, so I'll open the sidechain and disable with the right click, disable the auto mode on this one. And increase the uh, increase the like an EQ. I'll increase the sibilance inside this. So I found uh, fi uh, I have to find the sibilances like s and as you can hear, s oh, s they get they get reduced quite a lot. And I'll go to a healthy amount, about twelve decibels is way then it's very good. And you don't need a de-esser if you use that because the compressor will react much more sensitive to the esses in your voice right now, much more than the rest of your voice. So um, it will reduce everything, not just the area like de-esses do, but um, it will reduce it more, yeah, harmonically correct or more naturally. That's the word I, I had to find. find. Yeah, so uh, right now... <laughs> Sometimes I have about 17 decibels. That's a little bit too much. So uh, I want to balance that out. So it's about six-ish. And uh, that's normally good to go. Next thing, and the last plugin for today. I want to use the FabFilter Pro L2, which is the limiter. Okay, right now I have a latency going on in my head so I hear that kind of after I say it which is quite annoying so I'll go to transparent <laughs> and what I normally do is go to the safe settings uh, podcast and broadcast voiceovers and go to start transparent true peak limiting put that off because it introduces more latency and uh, now I speak and look closely at the meters. And the meters say when I speak that I normally, right now, I normally, uh, yeah, 
the loudest part is about 14 decibels. So I'll uh, no, before I increase, I'll go to this one and enable the 1.1 conversion. What this does is um, simply when I turn the gain right, uh, when I turn the gain up right here, uh, the volume won't get uh, louder. Normally it would, but for you, I don't want to blow your speakers out. I will turn on 1.1 conversion. And right now, as I speak, oh, sometimes it's 11 decibels, so that's important too. Note, um, I'll increase, let's say, about 12 decibels right now. So when I speak, uh, you may see this right here. They'll reduce the highest peak. It will just reduce the highest peak. And uh, a limiter is a bit different from a compressor, but it's also a compressor. But what it does is say everything that goes below this point won't uh, get through. With the compressor, it uh, goes through a bit, uh, and a limiter says no, it won't get through at no, no point. Uh, you can be 100 decibels louder than this point, it won't get through it. So, it's um, a limiter is mostly a safety measure to um, OBS Studio or, or uh, Discord, so you won't have this digitally clipping I was speaking about, like uh, when you have too much volume going into OBS Studio in the red line or... Um, yeah, in Discord. So, uh, 12 decibels, it nearly does anything. I'll go to 13 just to have more volume, a little bit less headroom, but you won't hear it. 2 decibels, you normally don't hear if it gets reduced anyway. So, um, yeah, this is my voiceover chain. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe. And um, yeah, if you want to hear some good music, check out my band Lucy Without Diamonds. Oh yeah. Yeah, so thank you for watching. See you next time. And I hope this video gave you one or, good, uh, one or two good tips on how you process voiceover. Burn, burn, burn up in the ashtray of life. No one is gonna save you. Watch when you ask for good or break no. your death. Now, without perception, realize your own perfection will lead you into suffering. No. And you